everybody and welcome to my sewing room. Happy November. We're all finished with Halloween and we're heading towards Thanksgiving. But one of the things I thought I would do that would be really fun is make some mug rugs for my family that had to do with the holidays. And I'm going to give it to them on Thanksgiving instead of Christmas and that way they can use the holiday um, theme throughout the month of December. So if you don't know what a mug rug is, it's just basically a little, almost a little miniature placemat that you can put your mug on. You could put a cookie on it if you want to. Um, uh, most of them are really cute and really fun to do. You can buy them already as a pattern. Uh, this is a pattern from Pickle Pie that I purchased that makes a mug rug in the hoop of your embroidery machine. And I thought I would do it with some crazy bright fabric. So I actually made two of them. I'll do a close up so you can see what they look like. Uh, this one is an OESD pattern. It's from a pattern um, group that's called Warm and Cozy. And they actually have several of them they call Warm and Cozy that are for, you know, to put on your apron or to sew on some kind of a Christmas project that reminds you of hot cocoa and cookies and all those other fun things. So I did this one and I actually substituted the word dad for one of the words that was in there because I want to make this as a set for my son and his family and I'll make one for each one of them with their name on it. And um, anyway, so that's what I want to do today for our video is I want to show you how you can make your own um, mug rug. You don't have to use a pattern that's already made. It's fun to use some of the designs you have in your stash to add it with your Stellar sewing machine and um, and just add some little rectangles and some quilting stitches and then put your design on top of it and voila you have a mug rug. So I want to show you how to do that so without further ado let's go to the sewing machine. Okay, so here we are in front of my sewing machine, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into embroidery. We're going to start in embroidery, and then we're going to go to my design center. And um, I'm going to go into my stick, and I have a whole lot of different kinds of embroidery designs in here. I want to show you, this is the warm and cozy collection that's not mug rugs. And there's a lot of really cute stuff on here that I thought... Wow, if I took that and turned it into a mug rug, it would be really cute um, for, for Christmas to have to put your hot chocolate on. This one here is one of the ones that I really like a whole lot because it's got cookies and candy and everything. And I thought that one would be really fun for me to go ahead and do a mug rug on that one. Um, another one that I thought it would be really fun to do is I'm going to hit cancel and let's go home. Also, another thing that just came out from OESD is this holiday monogram set. And they are so cute. And they have all different kinds of different designs on it. And I want to try and do something with this one as well. And um, like, for instance, just to give you an example, if I hit the O, there's Santa Claus. And I could set that down and turn it sideways by hitting rotate. And then I could write my grandson's name, Ozzy, on there. And then he'd have his own personal little mug rug with Ozzy on there. And I think I am going to go ahead and do that. But that's not the one I'm going to use today. So um, let's, go, let's go home again. I just, you know, there's just so many fun things out there. You just have trouble even making up your mind what it is you want to do. So I am going to do something with that cute little cup with all the different designs on it. I think it's this one here. I'm um, all the different candy canes and cookies and everything. I think that one would be really fun to do something with that one. So I'm going to set that one down. And I could turn it sideways, which I thought seriously about turning it sideways. But my mug rug would be really big. And I don't know that I want it to be that big. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it like this. And then I'm going to put some quilting around it. And I'm going to put my granddaughter Layla's name on it. I think maybe that would be really fun to do. So what I'm going to do before I even get ready to try and create this is I'm going to save the shape. And if you remember for some of the things I've showed you before to save a shape, you go into here and you hit the flower. And there's the shape of my cup. And I'm going to put it in the memory. And it says, okay. And then I'm not going to hit add because I'm going to bring this in later to put on top. If I do it now, it's going to be the first sew out. And I don't want it to be the first sew out. I actually want it to be almost the last one. So I'm going to just go ahead and go home. And it's going to delete that. And then I'm going to go into my design center. And I'm going to go into my shapes. 
and hit the flower. And there's that cup right there. I'm going to put it right there. And then what I want to do is I want to decide how big my mug rug's going to be. Now, this dotted line right here is my 5 by 7 hoop, and obviously this is not going to fit in the 5 by 7 hoop. But at least gives me an idea about how big this is going to be. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to pick a square, say OK, and then I'm going to size it. And I want to make it kind of a rectangle. So let's just, here I can put my hand up here so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So that's a pretty good size rectangle right there to go around it. Now, I want to save this rectangle without the shape on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell this, do not sew, hit the uh, pour button, and tap that one so it doesn't sew that. And then I'm going to say, sew a dotted line, say OK and tap that one and that's going to make just a running stitch because that's what I want to save first. Before I go to next and go on and save this, I want to put this in my memory because I want to bring it up again after I've done this. So now it's in the memory of my sewing machine. I'm going to hit next, preview, see it's just my running stitch square and set that down. Say okay. Now that's set down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit add and I'm going to go back into my design center and I'm going to bring that up again out of the memory, which is right here. And there it is right there. Set that down. And again, this is still do not sew. This one here, I'm going to say sew that a little bit more. I want it to go around twice. I want it to hold down my batting and I also want it to hold down my first layer of fabric. Um, so I'm going to change it to a different color, say OK, and then pour and tap that. So now it's got just a running stitch on top of that one, and it's going to sew that down in place. Then I think what I want to do is I want to fill the background with a quilt stitch. So let's see, I still got this shape, and I don't have to worry about it because it's still do not sew. I'm going to hit this. I'm going to go into here, let's see, select. I think what I want to do is just a really basic little crosshatch. I don't think I want to make it too complicated. But you know what? I could do this one. This one is just fun. I've done it before and it works really good. So let's do that. OK. And I am going to give it a color, but I'm probably going to just go ahead and sew it in whatever color I've got in the background, just so I know that's a different color and pour and tap. And that's going to fill the whole background with all of this. Um, and then I'm going to say next. And I'm going to change the size because it's too small. Let's make it like 50% more. Set that down. I'm going to turn the outline off. I don't want that to outline that cup at all. So that should work. And then set that and then hit preview say OK. That looks pretty good. I think that's going to be really pretty. So we're going to go ahead and set that down. So set that down, say OK. And then we're going to add to it. Wait. Yeah, we're going to we're going to push add and then I'm going to put my design in there. So let's go in here and go here and find that cute little cup and hit set. And it's not exactly in the right place as you can see. So I need to move it to get it so it's right in that blank spot that I created right there. That looks pretty good. And if you ever want to see if you got it good, just hit the, the hoop that's up here in the corner and hit plus and you can kind of see what you've done here. That looks pretty good. I like that. I think it's going to sew out really nice. So I'm going to say OK. So now I want to add um, my granddaughter's name right here and I'm going to I'm going to write um you know what I'm thinking about this I think because it's got the candy cane and the cookie I think maybe we're going to go with my grandson Ozzy and then we'll do I'll do the alphabet for Layla so let's let's go ahead and push add 
go into your alphabets. You want to find something that's kind of really fun and Christmassy. I think this one is definitely a Christmassy design. So let's go O and then lowercase Z, Z, I, E, Ozzy. Set that down. And then I'm going to just put it right here on top, right there. There's Ozzy. And I'm going to leave it exactly that size. I'm going to make it a different color later. Okay, so what else do I need to do? The last thing I need to do is sew the very last square that makes this into a mug rug. So I'm going to hit Add. I'm going to go back to my Design Center. I'm going to go into my memory. Where's my memory? Think about this for a minute, Rosemary. Um, here. There's that one right there. Set that down. This still says do not sew, so I don't have to worry about it. I just need that square running around it, and I don't want that to be a satin stitch. I want it to be this stitch right here. Say OK, and pour, and tap that. Hit Next, Preview, OK. And then we're going to set that down on top of everything that we've already done. And we have all those different steps in there. Now I'm going to sew it out. And um, I'm not going to, well, let's just go to the sewing machine and, and play it by ear. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're ready to go. I have put some no-show mesh in my hoop. I've threaded this with black thread. I want you to be able to see what it's doing, except for I can't get my fingers a hold of it. Uh, and then we're just going to push start. And the first thing it's going to do is it's going to sew out that first square. The next step up here in the corner, right here, is the uh, where it's going to do the stippling and everything. So before I do that, I need to lay down my um, batting and my fabric. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. So here's some batting that's going to just lay right across the top of my hoop. And then I have some fabric. And I'm going to be honest with you, I kind of thought this out a whole lot. I was going to do white on white and then just do that embroidery on it, but I'm going to get crazy and we're going to take a chance. This is a very busy print. It's got little uh, mugs and marshmallows and all sorts of hot cocoa on it, and it, I might be making a big mistake. But we're going to find out how it's going to look when it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay that fabric down on top of that. I've told you before on some of these videos, I'm kind of a seat of sew by the seat of her pants kind of person. So we're, I take a lot of chances and I make a lot of mistakes, and but we'll see what's going to happen. Okay, so what happened was somehow when I saved this quilt fill, I didn't save the outline. So I'm going to cut this. Okay, so we moved, came back to the sewing machine um, screen, and I just want to show you down here on the bottom, there's a little plus and a minus needle, and you probably know this is here, but I just wanted to show you. I'm going to hit that, and I'm going to go arrow up, and it's back to the beginning of the fill. So let's go arrow up one more time. Now it's back to my outline stitch, so it's going to do the outline stitch again on top of that, and then it's going to do... Um, my quilting stitches around there. So that's more what I wanted it to do. So let's go back over there to the sewing part.
there it goes. That's going to do a whole lot better. I Sometimes when I'm pushing those buttons, I don't do things exactly right. What I should have done is duplicated this outline stitch so I'd have two of them. But that's okay, because that's where we have our back button for people who make mistakes like me. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to use these applique scissors and I'm going to just very carefully begin to cut all of this excess off of here. Um, so, and then I'm going to put it back on and we're going to go ahead and embroider out the embroidery design. And I'm not going to have you sit and watch all of that embroidery out, but I want you to see the final step that makes this into a mug ruck. Okay, so I have embroidered all of this out. Here's my cute little cup with the candies. And here's my grandson's name. So it's all finished and it's quilted and everything is done except for the last step, which is that last square that we added. Now, I have this fabric and um, I could have cut it so it matched exactly and folded it in half and pressed it, but I only had so much of it. So, and I don't really care if it doesn't come to the end because it's gonna be on the inside. So I'm gonna take this piece here with the folded edge and I'm gonna lay it right here. And then I'm gonna take another piece just like that that's been folded the same way, and I'm gonna overlap them probably about two inches, just enough that I can get that sucker turned when I need to. And I'm just smoothing it with my hands, and it has that triple stitch, so I know that it's gonna sew this really good and tight. Now here's the hard part. I'm gonna hold it down with my fingers as it goes this way, and hold it down with my fingers as it goes this way. Voila. There, good job. Now, it's going to go all the way around in a circle and it's going to finish sewing this. And then we're going to take it over to my work table and we're going to turn this inside out. Okay, so here we are back at my cutting table and I've gone ahead and I've finished that design. I have to apologize for my hands. Sometimes I don't know exactly where to put the camera on. I'm trying to show you how to sew that out, but hopefully you got the gist of the whole thing. Anyway, it is completely finished now. And all I have to do now is remember the part where it overlapped right here? All I have to do is now turn it inside out. So I can put my fingers up inside of here. And usually what I do is I just tuck the corner down and turn it inside out. And any of you have ever done an in the hoop project, you know that, um, that this is probably one of the difficult parts, but once we get it, we can go ahead and we can press it up and we've got a mug rug and I think it came out really cute. I'll put a picture up in the corner so you can see it a little bit closer up. But um, and even with the crazy fabric, it still looks pretty good. I think it, it's a really cute little mug rug. And I went ahead and I made a couple of other ones. I showed you the one that um, I did before. This one here says mom on it and I used those um, monogram alphabets that I showed you before at the beginning of the video and I wrote mom it's really basic and simple but I still think it came out really cute and I like it a whole lot and I'll probably give that to my daughter and um, here's another one that says mom on it with a mug on it so that one came out really cute and then just to be a little bit crazy I went and I got one of my Donald Duck characters that I got from my embroidery and I wrote Bah Humbug on it and I thought that one came out really cute too. So um, that's our mug rugs. Uh, again, you can buy one that's already been digitized by somebody else or you can give this a try on your Stellaire and I think you'll have a lot of fun. Go through some of your um, stash of embroidery designs and see what you can come up with. I hope you had a good time and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.